Greetings. Today I'm doing a video on using the defringe tool in raw therapy. I'm going to be working on two images here. This is not a tutorial, this is just some of the images that I've taken and to see what I can manage to improve on using the defringe tool. So one of the images here I've taken of a lighthouse. Also, this here is a JPEG image from 2016, a city called Coronadal in the Philippines. So I'm going to be using the JPEG image here also. The raw file here we see that I've taken recently. Now if I scroll in, detail tab, and I have the defringe module already activated, I'll just turn that off and we can see the purple fringing there. Also, I'll just scroll out a little bit here. see on the edges here we have a little bit of fringing also between the slats here if I just turn that back on we can see it removes a bit of that fringing there we need to work on the edge here with the green also in raw therapy if we go to the raw tab in the raw tab we have the options of trying different demosaicing methods to see if we can create a better result as well but using the JPEGs this option isn't available so if I turn that back off, you can see the fringing and back on. And purple's on by default. What I will do is I'll reduce the threshold to zero. I'll just turn that up so we can see when we increase the threshold, the fringing comes back. If I increase the radius, we can see how it starts to remove more of the fringing that we have there. So depending on what kind of image you have, and in this image, I was using the Canon 50mm 1.8 STM lens, and when it's used at 1.8, there is quite a bit of chromatic aberrations, especially in high contrast areas. So I'll just increase that a little bit, and I'll scroll it, and I'll come up to the underneath the boards here. I'll try, try and remove a little bit of this. I'll take the green and I'll slide that up. See if there's any improvement. I'll grab the next one along and there we go. That's a lot better there. So if I just drag that up a little bit. Good result there by removing the fringing on the outside here. I'll just turn that off. Back on. You can see there. If I turn up the radius, we can see the effect on the edges here. So depending on what kind of image you have and how much you need to, to increase the radius. And again, if I turn up the threshold, you can see it starts to bring that back. There's back to zero. So I'll just pull that back slightly. Turn it off. Back on. And also in between here, if we have a look, we can see the fringing. It's quite difficult to see it at a distance, but when you start to zoom in, we can see the obvious effects of the, the colours there on the edges. Next, I'm going to select the other image. Yeah, and if I come in here, before I do that, when I bring in non-raw files, I bring them in as neutral, so no corrections have been made to the image, as we can see here. Noise reduction, defringing has been not, a, nothing's been applied. No auto match tone curve. No lens corrections. Nothing of that nature. It's just been brought in as neutral. And I'll open up the preferences and image processing you, you can see here for non-raw photos comes in as neutrals also i mentioned earlier if we go to the raw tab here because of the jpeg file here we no longer have the options for different methods for demosaicing so what i'll do is come back here i'll open up a tone curve just a standard maybe lift it up a little bit So 
before and after. Just a slight lift there, I'll just check to see the highlights. I'm happy with that. I'll just pull that down a bit. Now back to the defringe tool, I'll activate that. I'll scroll into the areas that we can see the we can see the purple fringing here. Also on the motorcycle here, you can see the purple is quite strong. And the green here on the edges, also around the signs. The canopy of the tricycle here. Again, I'm going to use the equalizer here to see if I can remove most of this fringing. So I'll activate that. Again, I'll turn the threshold down to zero. So I'll just turn that off, back on. Let's come back to this area first. You can see the purple here. I'll just turn that off. We can see here, it's quite strong. I'll come back to the area. Now I'll just turn this up a little bit. 2.5, I'm going to select the green on our equalizer and I'm just going to start to drag this up. We can see the result there. You can see the effect it's having on the image. Just turn that off, back on. I'll turn the radius up a little bit more. Not a bad result come out a little bit. You can see around the edge of the signs. I'll just come to the next option here and I'll pull this up as well. See if it has any effect on the image. I'll leave that where it is. It seems to be doing an okay job removing that fringing on the JPEG. I'll just scroll out again. I'll scroll in here now on these motorcycles. They're at one to one at the moment. So I'll just turn that off. You can see it all around the image here. I'll just turn that back on. Not a bad result for the JPEG there. See if there's any other colors that need to be adjusted. Let's drag that up again. There we go, we can see the change in the image there. So the fringing in this section, if I select the next option, just dragging that up seems to remove that. I'll just turn that back off and on again. So not a bad result using the defringe tool in raw therapy. Peace be unto you.